Sports. and the majestic Rose Bowl, one of the unique settings in all of sport. This year's Rose Bowl, presented by Prudential, is a crucial part of the college football playoff. It's time now for the quarterfinals, for the top four seeds, a time to begin their quest for the national championship. But they run into a battle-tested team already coming off one playoff victory, trying to shock the world here today and make the semifinals. As we'll see, the number 10 seed in this playoff, the Arkansas Razorbacks taking on the number two seed in the playoff, the Michigan Wolverines. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. And here we go, a college football playoff quarterfinal game. We'll see which team's gonna be moving on. Kickoff team out there, we're ready to rumble for this college football playoff game. Turn begins inside the 10. And the coverage team brings him down at the 26. So the Michigan Wolverines offense comes on the field first today. Everything that happens on this field today is just heightened, Kirk, because it happens on this amazing stage at the foot of the San Gabriel Mountains. Nothing like it. Nothing like it to me in all sports. We've been calling this game for such a long time, and I think we both agree it's one of our favorite games to call each year. And when we get a good matchup like this, it makes it that much better. Second down after that run on the previous play. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. Going to try to use his legs here. The senior calls his own number, picks up the first down. Boy, this guy can do it all. We know what he can do with his arm, but when things aren't there, does a good job of pulling it down, knowing where the first down marker is, picking up the first down. Second down after that run on the previous play. Now they'll switch it up, looking to throw the ball here. Good mark over the middle. It's Moore. Tackle finally made, but it's a huge gain. They'll spot it at the 34. And the Wolverines pick up enough yardage for a fresh set of downs. They'll try and run it. Here's the running back. Physical run, breaking tackles. Makes it across the goal line. Touchdown, Wolverines. Kirk, you look for what? You look for jitters in the opening drive. Not any sign of it for that offense. You know, the offensive coordinator, when we talked with him this week, he had a feeling that this offense was going to be able to start fast. But I don't even know if he thought they would look this good this early. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. 
And the PAT makes it 7 nothing. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Kickoff fielded inside the 20. Gets it to the 25-yard line. That's where they'll start the drive. So Arkansas's offense takes the field. The first chance we had to see them today. All right, Kirk, let's take a quick look at the impact players for today's game and how they're going to affect the outcome. These are your leaders on the field and in the locker room. Right? These are your go-to guys, not only when you need a play to be made, but also when you need somebody to rally your team. A pop pass on the jet sweep. The game is two yards, so it's second and eight. Man, that jet sweep action puts so much pressure on a defense. You get so locked in on the ball, attacking you downhill. When offenses sprinkle this kind of offense in, it stretches this defense out wide and can create some vertical seams for big plays. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Well, they get positive yards here, but I have a sense that they wanted a little bit more with that pitching catch. It's a draw play. Gets the first and still running. They bring him down, but that's a good play. Moves the ball to the 39. How about this ball here by this offensive coordinator? They're down early in this game. Third down and long. The last thing they can afford to do is have to punt the ball. But they show you why they love this back. Get his hands on the football, and he picks up the first down. Unbelievable call. That's a nice game to move the sticks here as time runs out in the first quarter. So, Kirk, Michigan has the lead here at the end of the quarter. He reached the end of one in this quest to move one step closer to a national championship. Let's check out the stats so far. We expect the teams have worked through some of the nerves of this playoff game as we begin the second quarter. Back at it to start the quarter. Offense getting set to run a first down play. Corner is back up now, playing a couple yards off the ball. He hands it off from the gun. Well, the defense coordinator this week already telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. To throw, it's Green. He's moving out of the pocket now. Breaks a tackle into the clear. Breaks it into the clear. It's a sprint. And they tackle him, but not before a huge gain down near the 26. Well, here's a quarterback that just takes control for himself. Picking up some nice yards when nothing else is there. This guy's a real threat. First down. We're going to throw the football. They got him to sack for the defense. Nothing is more gratifying for a defense to be able to sit back and play zone and still get pressure on the quarterback with your defensive front. On the right. The sack on first down, it's second down. And the wideout goes in motion. They look to throw it here on second down. Caught behind the line, it's Wilson. You see more and more offenses in college football going to three receivers, and the slot receiver a lot of times can become the go-to guy. He gets mismatches against either safeties or nickel. Cannot escape, and down he goes. Well, that's their second sack already in this game right now. And, and this offensive coordinator, he's going to have to come up with some changes in pass pro. Keep a tight end in, roll the quarterback out, anything they can do to help him out. Otherwise, this poor guy is going to spend his entire playoff experience on his back. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. It'd be a surprise if they took a risk here in the final seconds of the first half, backed up near their own end zone. From the shotgun, handoff inside. Brought down, but broke a tackle. Produced a solid game there. Great job on the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Physical running fights off the defender. They bring him down, but he makes the 40-yard line. That's a solid game. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Grab down the middle. It's Marshall. <laughs> Excitement there in the final play of the first half. A great effort, but they get him down. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin.
Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Thanks, Chris. The magnitude and intensity of these playoff matchups is always something special to be a part of. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. Chris, let's send things back to you and Kirk for what should be a memorable second half as we eagerly anticipate we'll be moving on to the next round of this college football playoff. The Wolverines will kick it off to begin the second half. Kickoff is fielded inside the 20. Tackle at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. And the Arkansas offense is back out on the field now. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Gets the ball off as he's hit, but it's incomplete. Well, these guys just continue to struggle throwing the football. You know, whether it's been running the wrong ground, quarterback not being accurate, the offensive line not doing their job. It's been a collective effort, and it's a big reason why they're trailing now in this game. Defense makes the stop after the completion. The Razorbacks hustle to the line to crank up the tempo. The pressure is coming. And the junior able to get home with the sack. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. No kick it away here. On the return, it's Stewart. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. Touchdown, Michigan. Huge play by the special teams. We're trying to win a playoff game here. What a boost to get a touchdown off a pump return here. Yeah, you're right. You're talking about trying to advance to the national championship. It comes down to plays like this that give you a chance to possibly get there. Huge return. Great blocking up front to eventually take that one all the way back for a touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with a PAT. The extra point is good. They stretch the lead a little bit more. Now they get set to kick it away. And the return starts from inside the 20. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the Razorbacks offense is back out on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? It's a quarterback keeper. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Chris, I'll be really honest with you. I don't know why they continue to try to run the football. I'm all about balance. I'm all about trying to make sure defense has to defend the run and the throw. But at this point in the game, they haven't been able to run the ball. They're going to have to go through the air if they're going to come back and take the lead in this game at some point. Third down. This offense could really use a conversion here down multiple scores. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. It's picked off. He tried to fire the ball into a tight window. And he'll be taken down, but after a good return. Well, this defense has been great the entire football game here. They knew they had a lot of pressure on them in the playoff. They stepped up and played well all game long. And now they get a critical interception here late in this game. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. That was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running down real quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the back. The Wolverines looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. Ball handed off. Got space, looking to score. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Wolverines. So they'll try to add the lead now with the PAT. They convert the PAT, so the lead is now 21. 